Hey everyone, welcome to Quick Beauty Collab. We are here to bring you beauty tips, tricks, and reviews in five minutes or less. Thank you for joining us. This is our first video. I'm Kim and I will be your Monday girl. I am a YouTube blogger. My username here on YouTube is a noble beauty. I will put a link down in the bottom bar and you can check out my channel if you so desire. Today I'm going to be reviewing the CoverGirl Nature Lux Foundation. This is a liquid silk foundation. It comes in a one ounce size and I purchased mine for probably like 11 or $12. So when I originally went to purchase this product when it first came out, it was $15 at my local drugstore. I was a bit taken aback by that price. I thought it was a little expensive. But you can get you can get this product where um, CoverGirl is sold, which is basically any drugstore, um, any mass retailer. Uh, so I picked this product because I am a big fan of CoverGirl. I like most of their products. I've been using a lot of their things for years, um, and I wanted to try something. Um, it was kind of exciting that they're kind of going more towards like a natural um, product. So I got on their website and I used their color matching feature that they have and it was actually really, really helpful because um, you know when you go to the drugstore you can't, there's no testers or anything like that so it made it a lot easier to, um, to find what I was looking for. The color that I got is bamboo. They recommended bamboo and um, alabaster to me and this one works really great for in the summer. Um, alabaster will probably is a little bit lighter so that'll work really well for me. Um, in the fall and winter months. So some of the pros of this foundation are the consistency. It's more, I would say it's more of like a whipped mousse, like light, fluffy, um, more than a liquid, if that makes sense. So I wouldn't say that it's like a liquid foundation. I would say it's like somewhere between liquid and like cream. It's very, um, it goes on thick. It's it's a little bit thicker, but it's got like, it goes on very smooth and very light. Um, so it does have that kind of like whipped quality to it. They have a lot of colors, so that was something that I liked is there were a lot of colors to pick from. Um, and then they've also got the lip balms, which I thought were so expensive, like $6 for a lip balm, really. One of the things that I like about it is I like the scent, but I have heard that other people don't. Um, it's got a cucumber scent, and for me, when I put it on, um, I can smell it for that first little bit, and then once it's kind of like set, it just kind of dissipates for me, but some people really didn't like the scent, so keep that in mind that there is a scent. Um, I don't think it's an artificial fragrance. I think it's the actual cucumber water that they have in here, but I could be wrong. Um, it doesn't say anything about fragrance on here, but who knows? Um, I like that it's more of, it's not an entirely natural product. Um, I don't, you know, I think that that's a little misleading. A lot of companies, like once they put one natural ingredient in a product, they think that, you know, their product's natural or they want to market it that way. But this isn't entirely natural. It's more of like a foundation with a little bit of, um, you know, natural. And it does say on here, it says luxury um, touched by nature. So I would say it's more of, that kind of foundation. Uh, some of the things that I don't like about it, uh, the one thing I don't like is the price. I thought it was very expensive for um, a foundation from CoverGirl. I don't know, maybe I'm just kind of getting really cheap, <laughs> but I thought it was a little pricey. Um, another thing that I didn't like was that it only has an SPF 10. Um, I think the skin count, you know, the skin cancer foundation says, you know, you should wear at least an SPF 30. So what is an SPF 10 really going to do for me? So that was one of the things that I didn't like about it. My overall rating of this product would be an A-. Um, the reason I gave them an A- is because they didn't put more sunscreen in the product. If they put more sunscreen in this, this would probably be the only product I would wear. I'd mix it with a little bit of uh, moisturizer and make a tinted moisturizer out of it. And that would be probably the only thing I would wear in the summer. I hope that this review helps you on your mission to find the perfect foundation. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or opinions, please feel free to leave them below, and I will be happy to respond. Thanks for watching. Bye.